everyone welcome back so I'm just going to jump right into the tutorial and we are using the Gwen Stefani times Urban Decay palette and I'm using the colors blonde and skimp I know I showed three colors but I really only used two and I had primed my lid with concealer prior so I just topped it with that and then going in with these two these are very nice great transition shades in the palette I mixed Anaheim, which is a lighter shade, and Zone, which is the deeper shade. And I'm just using windshield wiper motions on a fluffy crease brush and putting that directly in the crease. Just going back and forth a lot. You can build up the color. Um, if you mix in Zone, which is the darker shade, you can get that color built up faster. So I'm using the color Sirius, and I had like such a long clip of this. That's why I fast forwarded through it, but it is a matte gray shade in the palette. And I'm using the Sigma E45 brush and just putting that directly in the crease. I'm avoiding my lid, so I'm just keeping that away from the lid. I went in with a clean, fluffy brush. This is a Sigma E25. And just kind of clean up the lines just to make it a little bit less messy. Going in with the Jouer Cream Eyeshadow Crayon. I love this crayon. This is in the shade Marble. It is like a grayish um, black charcoal -y color and these last forever but once they set they stay so you really have to kind of work fast so I'm using this um, up and up brush from Target just to kind of blend that out on the lid we are going to be topping it with eyeshadow so don't worry if it's too messy but I kind of go back in with the shade Sirius which is the matte gray on that E45 um, brush and clean that up a little bit just to kind of clean up the lines and then we are going to top that like I said so don't worry if it's too, too messy. So go back in with that. And then I used the ColourPop eyeshadow in Glitterazzi. I love this shade, but when I put it on, I realized that it had almost like white gold flecks in it, and I wanted this to be more of a platinum look. So you'll see in a little bit later, I did put um, a different shade on top of that just to give it more of a silvery platinum look. Um, but I mixed the colors Punk and Blackout for the outer corner, and I went in with a different E45 brush and kind of placed that directly in that outer corner V and then used the other brush that was clean to just kind of blend those all together. Now here's where I go in with the brighter silvery platinum shade. I'm using the Natasha Denona palette. This is in the number 9 palette, but it's the color Aluminum, which is sold separately. So I just kind of tap that on the center of my lid and I'm using the color the Jessie the color mer, the Jessie's girl liquid liner and I'm just doing a very straight out cat eye if you can see it's just like very straight out just like a line and then boom straight out does that make sense I'm putting on my L'Oreal voluminous carbon black mascara I do pop on Ardell uh, I think they're just wispies that I put on in this video, but I didn't show a clip, so I did put those on, though, eventually. I'm using this concealer from Bare Minerals. This is the Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer in Fair. I'm just pressing that in with a beauty blender, and then I'm going to set that all with the Laura Mercier setting, Translucent Setting Powder and the Real Techniques Setting Brush. So I really like this combination, this brush and powder. So I'm putting that under my eyes so it doesn't crease because that formula typically will crease on me if I don't set it. I wanted the inner corners very, very bright, so I'm going with this Lancome liner in Lumiere, and it's just any silver liner, and I'm putting that in the inner corner and then putting the black on the outer corner of the eye just to really keep that inner corner bright. Then I'm using the color Sirius, the matte gray from the palette, just kind of blending that all together just to give it a little bit more of a smooth transition there in the middle. Still while trying to keep this the inner corner very bright. Since I wanted some sparkles, since it was a holiday look, I'm using the Jane Cosmetics Glitter Liner in Platinum Sparkle on the bottom lash line. And then the inner corner I'm using aluminum. And like, look how tricky it is to get this with a big honking nail. It was a struggle. <laughs> I'm popping some mascara on my bottom lashes. And then I'm going to go in and finish up the rest of the face. I'm using the Tarte Tartiest Contour Palette. The lighter shade I'm going to use on this NARS Eda brush, and I'm just going to contour with that, get the hollows on my cheeks. I'm going to go try and casually like get my double chin right here and just like give the illusion like, hey, there it is. I do not have a double chin, and I'm just trying. I'm trying real hard right here just to cover that thing up. I'm going to blend that all in with the darker shade, a little bit of that darker shade on this MAC brush. 
and just kind of blend that all together. And then I'm using the blush in this palette. This is a Marc Jacobs blush, angled blush brush. It's a matte pink color. It's very pretty. And then I'm going to kind of clean up with this more banana shade. Just kind of clean up. I want a little ham, so I'm going to clean up my contour. Going in with the Anastasia Starlight Highlighter. I love this. Is it called Starlight or Starlight? I think it's Starlight. It's like a bright white, but I feel like a lot of the product doesn't pick up as much on my brush. So I go, I go, go a little bit overboard, but hey, it's a holiday look, so you can do that. I'm using the Color Statement Lip Liner in True Red from Milani. This is like, I love the Milani lip liners. Definitely pick them up. They're super affordable, creamy, and I love this shade. It's like the perfect true, almost cool tone red color. It's just a very true red, as it's called. This is my favorite red color right now. It is Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Lipstick in Immortal. Lasts forever, and I love the color. So that is going to go ahead and complete the look. I hope you guys like this holiday look. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.